Hey, how's it going in the studio? I'm going to be talking about letter of authorization, LOI, and what that is. A letter of authorization, LOI, also known as authorization letter, or letter of authority, letter of authority, is a written document that grants permission or authority to someone else to act on your behalf uh, of the person or organization issuing the letter. It is commonly used in various situations where one party needs to delegate certain responsibilities or grant permission to another party to perform specific action. Today is Sunday and uh, on Sundays we have a bad habit thinking and talking and doing things with regards to money overall and focusing on the money sourcing finance looking for finance today uh, i'm looking to do some work with regards to banking system current system and trying to understand a little bit better uh, what are current regulations what are my uh, and setting expectations what might be required of you uh, to at least known of prepare for uh, if you haven't already, uh, some of the requirements might be for running a company to understand better or a letter of authorization and how to do one. Uh, let's take a look at some scenarios in which letter of authorization, LOI, might be used. Financial transactions, an individual might provide an LOI to the trustee uh i.e. friend or family member authorizing them to withdraw money from their bank accounts uh, to manage their financial affairs uh basically giving permission uh, the, i don't know if wording is right but giving permission to others to act on your behalf uh depending how you prefer to structure some of the projects such as you might be interested in considering it. so if you manage number of different projects number of different uh, budgets you might uh, it might be easier to have a bank account for that particular project just so keeping paperwork and keeping track of all your finances having everything in one place might be a better option it depends uh, perhaps most of the businesses stru uh, structure things differently I, I personally believe but having five, ten different bank accounts might be even <laughs> you know, might be an option, depending perhaps on uh, what countries or what governments you're going to be working uh, with. Uh, having those bank accounts and having the banking operations done within that particular government, that means a uh, bank account in that uh, state, that country, or by having bank account perhaps overseas. That there's different options that are available. How you want to structure your finances <laughs> uh, best before doing anything perhaps consult with uh, your accountant or try to find one good one <laughs> it can take time but uh, perhaps uh, we'll try to look for someone with experience and how you will prefer to manage money in the beginning as uh, I have perhaps told to many people a million times already Start with your personal budget, start with 100% and break apart that 100%, perhaps 70, 10, 10, 10, where 70 should cover all of your expenses, 10 should be for savings, 10 for emergencies, and 10 for donations. That, that's one way to structure it. So you start with your personal budget. So perhaps your personal uh, bank account, uh, you can start with that. So you mention your personal finances, try, and, try to stay on top of those finances for some time. Try to do it for six months. You see how. <laughs> uh, take a look at all of your expenses. Your money going in, your money going out. Do that. See how we'll get on from there. If you're doing great, that's perfect. Then from there, progress into perhaps start start uh, beginning of managing uh, business finance and how that might look and how you prefer to structure all your finances. How you prefer to structure money coming in, money going out, and opening a bank account. And perhaps if you want, opening a savings account. <laughs> perhaps separate account where uh, most of the tax can be done automatically that's one way to do it and savings account your money can be transacted uh, straight away you can <laughs> you can set it set it up things like that but I don't know so the different people are doing it differently but we're still talking about uh, personal finance right so personal account how you can manage personal 
account as well as having uh, money sitting uh, uh, for in a bank account they would just lose value uh, over time so I don't know if that's the best approach I don't know if I, I, I myself I would recommend to do that but perhaps instead of having uh, all the money that you can see at, and uh, grab or have uh, access to take that money straight away might be uh, not the best way to do it but perhaps that could be a good, good start Either way, uh, today if we would focus on, uh, on if we, today we would focus on how to manage finances, open bank accounts, and how to operate uh, uh, businesses. If you would start with personal, progress to a professional, and have a number of managing or different numbers of uh, pro projects. Perhaps that's that's way to do it. <laughs> just because we slightly got off the topic so just coming back to that would be common scenarios in which letter of uh, authorization might be required that would be business transactions in the business uh, context a company may issue a letter of intent to authorize an employee or agent to represent a company in a specific transaction such as signing a contract or negotiating a deal as well as that, that just some of those as well as perhaps uh, if uh, you would have a team within your company and you need to issue that team a cards uh, to pay for expenses business expenses for a trip for petrol whatever that might be right uh, I have covered that already you can potentially have that uh, de depending on your the business banking provider they might be able to offer virtual cards uh, uh, that they you could issue to your people uh, managing a particular project within the <laughs> within the company and uh, whichever way you, you prefer to structure it but there are, well, I'm trying to say there are a lot of different options available third party access in some cases individuals or organizations might need to gra grant a third party access to their property or, or information for example, a, a homeowner might issue a letter of authorization to allow a contractor to enter their property and perform repairs. Well, that's just one of those options. Uh, le legal matters. In the legal matters, person may provide a letter of authorization to an attorney to act on their behalf or in legal proceedings. For those of you who would like to learn more, I would highly recommend to purchase my book. Uh, in the book, I'm sharing a lot of information uh, about uh, how to start your first business and how to structure your first business. Uh, uh, <laughs> there's so many different ways how you can do it, right? Uh, in the book, I'm just sharing one of those. And in the book, I'm focusing on uh, starting livestock enterprise and setting goals first and achieving those goals uh, that would be a first goal of moving your business from zero to first ten thousand pounds dollars euros and how to achieve that goal uh, i'm using a lot of examples in the book that hopefully hopefully can help a lot of people to achieve this milestone for those of you who are interested in business as well as perhaps looking to invest in different business ventures I highly recommend to purchase this book. You can find it in the description below, as well as top retailers have it. NLA typically includes details such as the name of the person or organization granting the authorization, the name of authorized party, description of specific action or task they need to be authorized to perform, uh, duration of authorization and many other relevant information depending on the, what you currently working with but overall you shouldn't be scared that's just uh, <laughs> just the beginning I guess of all this quest of uh, running a business and why, what might be required of you uh, always seek for legal assistance before doing uh, with, uh, making sure that you won't get, get uh, uh, in trouble I guess <laughs> or by authorizing someone to do perform any task for too long of a period this is just an example uh, uh, always seek for assistance if you don't know right but uh, overall I would like to introduce as many people to what might be required uh, running a business and some of the tasks that you might be required to do It's important to note that the specific requirements and format of LOI can vary depending on the jurisdiction and the purpose for which it's being used. 
in some cases and alloy might need to be uh, neutralized or follow other legal formalities to be valid. I guess it will come back to you asking yourself a question, very important question. If uh, if you're looking to do or more, uh, having more responsibilities, uh, perhaps running the uh, number of different budgets, uh, by ideally at the same time, if you can. Uh, what's your tolerance for by perhaps pain? I guess this will come back to being a lot of pain. I guess I uh, hope not. I hope not. If uh, you would have know how, perhaps a little bit of experience uh, or that you can build over time, you can reduce some of that pain. Or you will have necessary structure and systems in place to reduce the pain. But overall, just managing uh, some of those operations and running a business can be. Uh, uh, challenging uh, in the beginning but uh, <laughs> to say the least I'm here to support you and overcome some of those challenges right uh, thanks for watching I'll see you in the next one